It is part of a number of steps being taken by the Turks and Caicos Islands government to enforce border patrol and the first of many initiatives taken to curb the amount of illegal immigrants taking the image of the Chalkstown residential community. The Chalkstown police station officially opened earlier today and will serve as a security hub for more than 1,000 residents of that community. During an official opening ceremony, Premier Honorable Dr. Michael Mizek noted that the opening of the state-of-the-art police station marked the realization of a four-year dream by his government. We're here to, to witness the opening of such books. Uh, this is indicative of uh, my government's commitment to the rule of law and law and order. Uh, and we are committed to this in spite of the tough economic times. Uh, we feel that it is important for our country to not only say that we are safe, but be safe. Honorable Mizek said the influx of illegal vessels landing in the Chalkstown constituency contributed to the speedy construction of the new department. He further condemned the recent rise in criminal activity, stating that the country's law enforcement will not tolerate it. We're also concerned with the recent rise in, particularly in, in areas of, uh, of, uh, of um, killings. Uh, that's an area that we cannot, cannot, cannot allow to take foot. Uh, we, we, we have a number of examples in, in, in our Caribbean countries of some of our, our sister countries that have hundreds of uh, killings every year. Uh, crime and tourism does not coexist. Minister of Works, the Honorable Jeffrey Hall, gave brief remarks and noted that the development of the Chalkstown Police Station comes at a time of deep economic instability and through collaborations with community members. Minister of Home Affairs, the Honorable Gamble Williams, asked that residents and members of the police station liaise to fight crime in their community. It doesn't matter how much police officers we have, how big the facility is, how much facilities we have, it takes the relationship but the entire community and the police in order to keep crime where it belongs and it doesn't belong in TCI, it doesn't belong on Providentialis, and it certainly should not be in shock sound. His Excellency Governor Gordon Weatherall noted that the addition of a new police station will now take away the responsibilities of the Royal Turks and Caicos Police Force from the other islands. Of course, responding to needs in one area does not in any way diminish the importance which the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force attaches to other parts of Providenciales and of the TCI more generally. And I'm confident that officers stationed here will continue to do the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police proud. Station Inspector Roy Wessel will head the operations of the Chalk Sound Police Department. He says that the station will be operated on a 24-hour schedule and will serve as the first stop for illegal immigrants that are captured in the Chalk Sound community before being processed and taken to South Dog Detention Center.